you might want to put a glove clip in your car as well. And you might be asking, what is a glove clip? What are you talking about? Hey guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. Last week I did a review of Hermes' official Christmas gift guide and what I noticed is that most of the pieces on the list were something that I would consider part of my winter staples from the brand, which has inspired me to pull these pieces from my collection and share them with you, most of which would make a phenomenal Christmas gift. So if you're still on the hunt for the perfect last minute luxury gift, I don't think you'd be disappointed with any one of these. And of course, there is nothing wrong with treating yourself to something cozy to keep you warm during the coming colder month. So if you want to see my winter favorites from Hermes, then please keep on watching. Let's jump straight in. And the first piece that I would like to bring your attention to is Hats by Hermes. Now, I'm personally not a big hat person. I'm not someone who can pull off a beanie or anything along those lines. But I do like to keep my head warm in the colder month. So one thing that I absolutely love from Hermes is their cashmere caps. They have a couple of these caps that are made of 100% cashmere. And this is not the type of cashmere that you have to baby and you have to be really careful with. This is actually water repellent, so you can easily put this on and go out in this even if it snows out or even if there's a little bit of drizzle because it is water repellent. Obviously, you don't want to be standing outside in the pouring rain in these. And um, there are two different styles that Hermes makes in cashmere. This is the so-called Nevada style, and then they also make the Miles style in cashmere. For the longest time, I really had no idea what the difference was. But since I own both hats, only one of them in cashmere, the main difference that I can see is this forehead piece that you can see here. On the so-called Nevada hats, the forehead piece is quite wide and flat, which I think you would really appreciate if you have more of an elongated head shape, because I think it's going to really nicely round out your head. And then the Miles cap has more of a triangle stitching here, which makes it really flattering on people who have more of a round head shape because it can help to elongate your head. So I think that would be the main difference between the two. One more thing that I do have to point out is that the Nevada caps usually come with a little H here. So the branding on these is quite subtle, whereas on the Miles caps, you can sometimes see some branding that is a little bit more out there. This year, they have Hermes spelled out on the back with a rainbow of different letters. And then that's on the black one. I think it also comes the Miles head this year in blue and then also in a taupey color. And I believe the branding on those is tone on tone, but in case you want to get the black one, you will have to deal with the colorful branding, which you might like, you may not. If you don't, I would recommend that you look into the Nevada caps, which tend to have a much more sort of subtle approach to branding. Obviously, all of these are beautifully made and they all feature the Clou de Sel little Hermes motif on the back. They're really, really sturdy, really good quality, extremely lightweight, but they will still keep your head quite warm in case you're not someone who wants to wear a beanie. These hats obviously are quite expensive for a cap. These I believe are around like $500. But considering how good quality these are and how smart they look for a cap, I think you will really appreciate these for a long time in your collection. And while we are on the topic of hat pieces, one more hat that I wanted to bring to your attention is a new beret that Hermes launched earlier this year which is personally not something that I would wear. It is from their women's line. And it looks like sort of those old school chauffeur hats that drivers used to wear. It's again made of 100% cashmere. And it features this beautiful Shandong chain that's removable. And I think it would be such an incredible multifunctional piece because you can wear it as a hat with that sort of statement chain on it but you can also take off the chain and use it as a back charm or as a little strap on one of your mini bags. So I have actually been looking at that hat mainly for that chain so I could use it on something else. But if you're looking to make a fashion statement with your headpiece in the winter, 
I don't think you need to look any further. I think the beret would be an incredible piece to invest in. Next up, let's move on to gloves. And surprisingly, there were no gloves mentioned on the RMS holiday gift list, even though RMS makes some beautiful gloves. The one that I have here from a couple of years ago is this pair from the men's collection, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but it has this really subtle sort of H embroidery on the front, which is actually a reoccurring theme in the men's collection, hiding little H embroideries on their ready to wear on their, and on their scarves. And of course, it's extremely soft. It's um, made of cashmere and it is slightly peeling, I'm not going to lie, but I've had these for a couple of years. Hermes always comes out with a bunch of different gloves for their Hermes collection. Usually they have a couple in some sort of fabric like cashmere and then they have a couple of leather ones. But honestly, their leather gloves for men are quite forgettable. I much prefer their gloves for women. And my recent favorite is the Soya gloves, which feature the Kelly lock as a little sort of charm on the base of the gloves, which is adorable. It comes in a couple of different colors, both with palladium and gold hardware, so you can choose which one you want. And if you're going to invest in a pair of gloves from Hermes, you might want to put a glove clip in your cart as well. And you might be asking, what is a glove clip? What are you talking about? Well, the glove clip is something that Hermes had in their portfolio. They've had it in their portfolio for I think decades, if not longer than that. And the original design was this little claw-like mechanism that you would snap over your gloves and then it had a chain that you were supposed to hook over the handle of your handbag. You can put it on whatever bag you want. It doesn't have to be an RMS bag. And it just helped to keep track of your gloves, which might sound like a silly idea, but I cannot tell you how many pairs of gloves I have lost over the years. And funny story about those glove clips, I had a friend um, who was from Korea in college. And I think even though she lived in New York, we went to college together, she still shopped in Korea and Japan. And one day I bumped into her in class and I don't think I had a pair of gloves with me. I don't remember what I had with me. I think it might've been a scarf. It was an RMS scarf, so we got talking. And she told me that she had been looking for these glove clips for years, but they are supposed to be impossible to get in Korea and in Japan. They are supposed to be as difficult to get as a Birkin, a Kelly, or even a Rodeo back charm. And I couldn't quite understand it because it's available online in the US. You can pick it up from the website and it's always available in store. So the next day I ended up introducing her to the person I was working with at RMS at the time. And I think she bought three of them in palladium and then three of them in gold to take it back for her family because three is the max number of pieces you can pick up of the same item from Hermes within one year. So she bought three of each and um, she was over the moon to find them. And I would have never thought that they would be such a hard to get hot fees. So when it comes to Hermes, you can really never know. And I would actually love to know, are there any pieces that you find are quite difficult to come by at your home store? I would love to know if there are any pieces that you have asked for in the past and you were told that it's going to be a challenge to find them. Obviously outside of Birkins, Kelly's and maybe the Rodeo back charms, which I know can be quite difficult to find in certain countries. I would love to know if there are any pieces Obviously, I understand that most things are difficult to get at RMS, but are there any pieces that you were really surprised to hear that were difficult to come by? I remember a couple of years ago when I was shopping back in New York, I asked for something so simple. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. Maybe it was a notebook refill or something along those lines. It was something as simple as that. And I was told that it's going to be quite a while for me to get that because there is an actual list going of people who are waiting for it. And it's not about being an established client and having to you know, establish your profile to be able to get that piece. There were just simply so many people looking for it that they had to start the list. And I cannot remember what it was. If I can think of it, I'll make sure to leave it in the comment section. But 
Even if I cannot, please do let me know if there are any pieces that are difficult to come by where you're from. I would love to know, it's, it's so interesting. But anyway, according to my friend, the clips are quite difficult to find in Korea and Japan, which if you know of, do let me know. So you can either get the little claw-like glove clips, the original ones, or they do come out with new versions each season. And the newest one that they have is a take on the Kelly Twist closure, which in my opinion is absolutely genius. It's the exact same concept, you're supposed to hook the chain around the handle of your bag and you just clip and strap your gloves in the middle and that should help you keep track of your gloves, which I think would make the most phenomenal and practical gift if you'd bought it for someone who you know is into their luxury fashion and they might have a pair of gloves that they love and appreciate. We talked about at least, I think, five different types of scarves in the Hermes Christmas gift guide video. But one scarf that I kept mentioning and suggesting as an alternative is the Hermes Muffler, which is a piece that I've had in my collection for years. And in hindsight, I really wish I had pulled this for that video, but I hadn't seen the Christmas wishlist before filming it, so I had no idea what's going to be included, although I should have expected quite a few scarves. But anyway, I kept mentioning this and I never showed it, but now I'm redeeming myself. So this is the Hermes muffler from the men's collection, which has to be my favorite scarf from the brand, especially for the price and the quality. So these scarves are 100% cashmere. They are so extremely cozy and just soft and warm. I absolutely love these. And the branding on these isn't as prominent as it is on some other Hermes pieces. It doesn't feature any sort of graphics or print. It's really, really simple. The, the one that I have here is I think their so-called Verso scarf. I'm not sure if that's the, the official name, but Verso is usually bags and SLGs, but maybe they use the same term for scarves. Anyway, what that means is that it's two different colors on each side, complementary but different colors. And it does come in a couple of different colorways. So this is black with uh, charcoal, but it also comes in like a navy blue, a camel, in like a Bordeaux deep red color. There are always a bunch of colors that are staples and then they come out with new ones each season, which are actually really, really nice. And then it doesn't have any sort of branding other than, let's see if I can find it, other than this really simple Hermes embroidery on one of the edges, but it's really not noticeable unless you take a really close look which I absolutely love. I think this would make a beautiful gift. And then these also come in just one single color. So if you're not a fan of the two-tone look, you can just get it in one solid color, which of course they have all your basic colors available. And then they have some special ones each season as well. My favorite of course has to be the black, but I also like the camel one. So if I was to repurchase this, I would probably buy one of the solid colored ones because I don't need to have a two-in-one, but if you're buying it for someone who you know has a huge collection of winter coats and they like to change up their scarves and their color palette, then it's good to have one of these scarves because you can decide which side you want to have facing out and that's going to be your primary color for the day. Obviously, you will still get a glimpse of the, of the other side, but it's not as, as obvious as the one that's facing out. I personally love the black side and that's the one that I usually have facing out, but it definitely makes it special that it's two different tones. So you essentially get a two in one and I think this would make a phenomenal gift for men, for women, for everyone. This is an amazing gift, even though it's from the men's collection. And because of that reason, it is much more reasonably priced. I think these are around like $480, $470 and the solid colored and the two-tone ones are, I think, the same price, so that really doesn't matter. It just comes down to your preference. But I think for $500, you get a beautiful scarf. If you pick it up this time of year, you will get it in the limited edition Christmas packaging. So I think a great scarf always makes a wonderful gift. I just had to go and grab these from my coat rack because this is something that I wear every single day in the winter which are two coat recommendations from the Hermes Equestrian line. I do like Hermes ready to wear, but I have to say, 
I wear their equestrian pieces so much more often than pieces from their actual ready to wear line. I just find them to be a little bit more youthful and more practical and just more suited for my lifestyle, which is definitely more active than preppy these days. So one that I talked about before so many times is the Hermes Equestrian Warm-Up Fleece Jacket, which is just this really, really simple zip-up jacket that is fleece-lined, obviously as the name suggests. This piece has to be one of my favorites from Hermes. I wear this every single day, starting probably in September all the way until March because this is something that I reach for when it first starts getting cold. I can just put this on and I can I know that it is going to keep me warm. But it's also something that I can nicely layer underneath lighter coats and I can still rely on this without having to wear a really, really puffy jacket. This is really, really reasonably priced. It's made of water repellent material. It's easy to clean. It's just really, really lightweight and soft. And even though it's really light and thin, it's still going to keep you quite warm. It's not something that you can solely rely on if you live in a climate that gets really, really cold. But for example, if you live on the West Coast, this might be the only thing that you need for December and maybe even January. But if you're looking for something a little bit more heavy duty, then I would love to recommend this so-called Fjord jacket, again, from the Hermes Equestrian line. This is just your traditional puffy jacket with a twist, because this is so incredibly lightweight and tailored compared to other jackets that you would not believe that this would be enough for the winter month. But for the past couple of years, this has been perfect in the cold of the New York winter. It's so incredibly warm because of the filling. I don't know how they did this, but this is easily comparable to sort of a heavier Canada Goose or Montclair jacket. But the fit on this is perfection. I've never seen such a tailored and tapered winter jacket that is guaranteed to keep you warm. Obviously these jackets were made for horse riding and they don't want the equestrian to get a cold. So they need to keep them warm, but they need to create jackets that allow them to move freely and they are not too bulky for horse riding. And both the warm up fleece and this are just absolute perfection. So if you're someone like me and you cannot get on with sort of the traditional puffy jackets, you definitely want to look into the Hermes Equestrian line because every single one of their winter jackets that I have tried have been just above and beyond. I love the Fjord one and then another one that I'm yet to pick up is the one that I believe is called Pumino. I think it's called the Pumino winter jacket and all of these are available both for men and women including the Pumino one. So just because I'm showing these to you, these are from the men's collection, but they have identical jackets in their women's equestrian line. They have the exact same name. I think just the fit might be slightly different, but I would highly recommend that you look into their winter jackets. Obviously they are a little bit more expensive than your traditional high-end winter jackets, but in my opinion, they're worth every penny because I can guarantee you'll get your money's worth out of them, considering how long you'll have these in your collection and how often you will be able to wear them. These have been just an incredible investment. And then two pieces that I just have to give an honorable mention to, but I didn't want to talk about them in depth again because I did talk about both of them quite recently. One of them is the Avalon blanket. If you're looking for the ultimate luxury gift, I highly recommend that you check out the Hermes Avalon blankets because there is just something about the look and the style that just creates a beautiful, luxurious ambiance. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention, which I think could be quite surprising, is the RMS CDC bracelets, which I have an extremely in-depth review on. I have it linked up here. And you wouldn't necessarily associate the CDC bracelets with winter, but I do find myself reaching for them more often this time of year than any other time. Obviously I do sometimes make a conscious effort to wear them in the summer and the spring, but I think in the winter they're just easier to pull off because they're not so hot, you don't get so sweaty with a huge leather piece on your wrist. 
you can really nicely style them with a chunky sweater. They're not overwhelming. You can hide them underneath a sweater or you can easily put them over one. Even though the CDC bracelets are not something that most people would think of buying this time of year, but if I want to be honest with you, they are definitely one of my most used RMS pieces during the colder month. And this concludes today's video on my winter essentials from Hermes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I would love to hear in the comment section, one, if there are any pieces at your home store that you find are difficult to come by. And two, if there are any pieces in your collection that you find that you mainly reach for during winter, I would love to know. And if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.